Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can install mods on Minecraft. So I have showed how to install like shares and stuff but I'm not sure how to install mods yet. So let's get started. So I'm going to be using a type of mods. So I was looking on stuff and people wanted to know how to use Traincraft. I didn't install Traincraft so I'm going to be using Traincraft as my example. So before you can install Traincraft, you're probably going to need to look at it first. Traincraft mods. So you look at this and then you will probably be on this. So there you go. This is Traincraft's home page. You have load these trains, look at these. You have all this. You know, looking. It, it's actually really cool. I mean, take a look at that. That's the train, I believe. So you can see some backs by the mod, and you can see I'm just signing down 86 trains again. What is it got? Come by train. <laughs> Alright, so you're gonna go scroll down until you see download. So now you'll be able to see which release are older versions. Let's hit the latest release. So now you're gonna be brought onto a download page, and you do this one. So You'll actually need to have Minecraft 1.6.4, so just hit this, and there you go. If this pops up, the desktop file can arm your computer, hit keep, and then you can install Traincraft. So now you have the Traincraft installed, but you can't just keep on going just yet. So, uh, some, no. This is probably not. So let's just accept the risk from that. Yeah, so if you do have any security problems like I do, like if your software goes crazy about it, then just ignore that. My internet browser already went crazy on it. It didn't, it didn't already block it. Usually it just automatically does it all the time. So there you go. So this is your Traincraft. Now you're going to need to get Minecraft Forge. I think you actually need this, but just to be sure, let's take a look. You can also go here to get the download, or you can click that. So we're going to hit this real quick. I did not notice that was there, so you can also see a few of these things. So, there you go. So you can have like 1.5, 1.4, 1.3, 1.2, and 1.1. You have all those versions, and it goes all the way up. 1.6. I suggest using this one right there, but we're going to use the latest download. Take a look at the change logs, see if it says anything. So these are all the change logs. Alright. Alright, so now what you're going to need to download is Minecraft Forge. Now, Minecraft Forge can be found here, I think. I think this is the right one. Yeah. Alright, probably might not be so. Just type in Minecraft Forge. Well, there you go. Now you'll have this. So you can look up this. Yeah, this is newer than I expected. So now you can just also look that up like I just did. So now you can have quite a few of these things. So now you can see Minecraft versions. Select your version. We are going to be using 1.6. So I believe that's what's been selected already because we searched it up. So there you go. So you can download the latest, and now you can select which one. We're going to use an installer, and then you're probably going to be redirected to some sort of... So now you're going to be redirected to this place. This here, your... So see, this, your... My stuff is going a little bit crazy, but I'm just fine with this site. So see, this is a little bit of a bad place to use things, but... Voila, watch this. Hit skip. Um, keep the phone. There I go. Now, this app case is actually really not good. Uh, I don't suggest it. So, if you're a creator and you're using these things, use app instead of app focus. App focus is not good at all. So, see, you have like a long URL and short URL. Yeah, you can already earn cash by. You can already use. App fly, so use app fly not app focus. App focus is actually pretty bad. App focus has been really annoying and app focus has terrible ads, so use app fly. But you can also do it from here as well. 
So, now that you have these, you can launch Forge and hit it. And we can get out of here now. I do not like the site. There we go. So now you would, you have an install client. Before you can install this, be sure that you have RAM Minecraft 1.6.4. Once you've RAM Minecraft 1.6.4, it should, because uh, Minecraft 1.6.4 is a Forge version, it will be able to modify Minecraft 1.6.4. It's not able to install that 1.6.4 onto your computer, so you must run 1.6.4 first. Once 1.6.4 is on your computer and you've RAM 1.6.4, then all you need to do is select this and probably I should be selected. Hit OK. I'm not going to do that because I need to, but you'd hit that and then it would bring up some things saying that's done. Now, all you need to do is here, you can go into your file manager. If you get stuck, you can't, there are easier ways. Oh yeah, this is where I used to record. You can take a look at this. There are loads and loads of those things. Woo! So, alright, you can close that now. So, that's probably the file that's recording right now. And now you'll need, you can launch Minecraft and get into your edit profile and open the game directory from there. So that's what we're gonna go do now. So you can so now that you've done all this, you can open up your Minecraft like this, but do not play it. So you know when you normally start your Minecraft, instead you will hit edit profile and you'll hit open game directory. Now first, before you can do any of this, you must run the, the, the version that I installed first. So once you've ran that version, it should have, once you exit and go back into this and do what I just did, there should be this mods folder, and the folder should be empty. Now all you gotta do is drag Traincraft into the folder, and launch your Minecraft. And that is all you gotta do. And then this should work. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope it helped you. Now, I'm not going to be using Traincraft, so I can delete this Traincraft thing now. So I'm not going to be using this, but you guys will not do that, and you will hit the Save Profile button. I'm going to save anything. But I don't want to save anything, so I'm just going to exit out of that. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and be sure, by the way, that is on your Forge account. So, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you have fun using your mods or Traincraft or whatever you installed. If you installed Traincraft, then have fun with Traincraft. If you're installing other mods, then I hope you have fun with those. Now, this is only for Forge mods, so don't try this with any mods that aren't Forge because they won't work. And anyways, guys, I hope this, you enjoyed this video and this helped you, and I will see you all next time.